All right, let's get this party started. Uh, I have a pattern for this and for that. Yeah, it's the swamp ride, right, yeah. So I'm gonna make these two first and then I'm gonna have to come up. This is gonna take the longest because this is my first. Uh, this is a knife I'm gonna make often like I my swamp rat and my dinner skinner I haven't changed the name on that yet but uh so I got to take my time and and uh come up with a really good pattern and before I know if the pattern is good I have to actually make the sheath and put this knife in it and uh so it's going to take a little more time to do that but I know I can do these two today and this is the redesigned swamp rat sheath and uh, I know why I've been putting off making my sheaths because uh, le this leather work is something, I mean, you lose your skill with it very, very, just like knife making. I mean, I know it'll come back to me, but I, I have completely forgotten the steps to make a knife sheath. And I've made some really stupid mistakes. I'm sure other knife makers have as well, like uh, putting the pattern down backwards and making yourself an accidental left-handed sheath. <laughs> so, uh, you know, stuff like that I gotta be careful of. I think I've even wrote on here which side up for a left. No, I haven't. I guess because I by now I've finally figured it out that the belt loop goes closest to you if you want a right side sheath. And uh, the belt, the belt loop falls down like that, of course. Anyway, let me, uh, I gotta get a pen. I thought I had a pen in here. I don't. Let me get a pen and uh, get this rolled out and go to tracing out my patterns. See, I almost screwed up before I even got the pattern traced out. Uh, if I trace this pattern for a right side sheath like this on a leather, the way it's facing, I'll have a left side sheath. So... I gotta turn this leather over. All right, let me get this. All right, I got the dinner skinner and the swamp rat cut out. Now, now I gotta fashion a, a sheath for the nest smoke. And uh, once I do that, making it is probably gonna be easier than coming up with it. Spider web. Huh, wow. And I just pressure washed this table. Must have spiders in here. Alrighty, I got it traced out. Now I'm gonna do uh, a little more handwork on it. We'll, we'll be back. Okay, I think I finally come up with a sheath for the nest mook that I'm somewhat happy with. Uh, mistake, mistake, better. So uh, I'm gonna cut this out and sew one up. And uh, if I don't like it, I will alter the pattern some, but this is in the ballpark of what I need. There we go. I know that eventually uh, I'm gonna have to up my leatherworking sheath making game, but uh, these are sufficient. They're just not purdy. <laughs> I mean, I do, you know, work on them some, embellish them, checker them. But uh, when I see the work of other people on the knife forums, I just shake my head in shame. <laughs> I, I honestly, at first, when I first started making knives, I had no intention of making sheaths. I don't know what I was thinking. You can't sell a knife without a sheath. Oh, you could, I suppose, but I couldn't. So I had no choice, I had to make sheaths. I didn't really think I would have any desire to do leather working, but when I started, uh, I, I liked it. I, I realized that I did like leather working and it was kind of, it was almost as enjoyable as making the knives. You got to use your hands and, and uh, make something from nothing, you know? Anyway, uh, I'm not where I want to be, anywhere near where I want to be with my leather working skills. But 
I'm really trying to improve my knife making skills and uh, until I get better and more confident and uh, don't make stupid mistakes making my knives, I'm just going to keep making these kind of sheaths. They're okay. They're not my ultimate goal, though. I really intend to perfect my sheath game. And uh, I don't, you know, I say perfect. I don't think you can ever perfect anything if you're constantly trying to do better. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I uh, don't think I'll have these all made today, but I got them cut out. And uh, it's taken me... I don't know why I didn't want to come down here and do it. I just didn't. I really don't have an explanation, but uh, I'm at it now. And I'm making the sheaths, and uh, I feel better about doing it. So... Sometimes you just got to kick your own butt in gear and, and get to doing something. And, and uh, yeah, it's all coming back to me. I'll tell you the mistake I've made before is uh, sewing the sheath together and forgetting to fold this over and sew it on. You have to sew that on from the inside. So <laughs> I, had to, I had to unsew the sheath, take it apart, and then sew this belt loop on. And then sew it back together. And yeah, little stupid mistakes like that. But I'm not going to make that mistake. Uh, you know, I have done the leather upside down. <clears throat> and then I had a choice. I either had to make a sheath a left-handed or, or make it where the outside is, you know, the, the outside that you want is inside and the inside that you don't want showing is the outside. Stupid, stupid stuff, you know. Anyway, uh, I've yammered enough. Three minutes of yammering. And uh, isn't that strange? My dog, of all the places he could lay, has decided to lay in the closet. I guess because there's carpet there. I guess I ought to go get his bed, bring it in here, because I'm going to be in here a while. Okay, see you, see you in a bit. It is not very bright in here. I definitely got to get some uh, better lights. Okay, this is the uh, Dinner Skinner sheath. Uh, I'm not done yet. I've got the edge being glued so I can sew it. And then I've got this one. my friend Pat I'm fixing to sew the belt loop on and then uh, do the same thing to that glue the edges closed well there's one that's uh, the dinner skinner the lighting is just terrible in here I'm gonna have to add some lights and when I sell this knife I'm gonna use that money to buy some lights Not bad for my first sheath in a couple of years. Let me see if I can pull this out one-handed. Oh, it's pretty tight. Hold on. There we go. It's snug fit. I'm asking 105 for this. That's shipped anywhere in the U.S. If you would like it, let me know. Uh, I'm not going to make a habit of selling knives on my YouTube channel, but uh, this is my first one that I actually have for sale. I have another one. The Nesmuk is sold, but uh, I'm waiting for the fella to get with me and tell me what color stain he wants on the sheath. So this is officially my first knife that I've got for sale for quite a while. All right, tomorrow I will finish up, uh, uh, thought I could catch it before it fell. <laughs> tomorrow I'll finish up Pat's knife, and then I'll do the Nesmuk, and then I have another Nesmuk to make that is 
sold. And uh, then I'm going to do some Damascus. I have two pieces of Damascus I'll be uh, making some knives out of. Okay, uh, I'm going to upload this video just because I'm anxious to uh, show you my first sheath. And uh, Nick, if you if you got my email, let me know what color you want, and I'll have that probably have that done tomorrow too.